Hi guys. Well, it is an exciting day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this Thursday, August 19th, 2020. First, after barely surviving the onslaught of the remnants of Hurricane Fred or whatever he was, whatever you called Fred up here in New York, you know, I'm still trying to appreciate the irony of uh, moving from Texas to upstate New York, which we heard once again has been uh, identified as the safest place to head to if you're a climate change refugee as I am. I came within inches of having uh, my house flooded out, uh, my trailer go rolling down the river. So I have dodged a bullet here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and somehow I am now doing laundry, getting ready for my next load of guests at the tiny house. So uh, while my sheets wash do what I do every day and that's just try to figure out uh, what to do with with all of this uh, before I start I want to send out a big thank you to kind-hearted listener Pascali Argenio for your very kind donation to my PayPal account and anybody who would uh, like to donate for whatever reason for whatever it is I do with my life, um, there are always ways to do that. If, and PayPal is always easy. Just collapsechronicles at gmail.com is my PayPal account. But anyway, thank you very much, Brother Pascale and uh, Frederic Toulet. Thank you for your very kind donation if I missed you last week. But anyway, guys. Uh, what's it going to be? Uh, what's it going to be today? <clears throat> Every hot dog eaten shortens life by 36 minutes. If that were true, I would have been dead 20 years ago. Anyway, uh, how about the number three story from the Fear Stream Media? Deer. Deer in four states, including New York, baby, have been exposed to corona panic. What does that mean for humans? And it does, uh, they do recommend that you socially distance from deer. Okay. Uh, you heard it here. Anyone who acts like I don't treat the corona panic seriously. This is the third biggest story on the planet socially distance yourself from deer all right climate change will not kill tourism but the industry is in for a painful reckoning i know when the guy was checking in uh to the airbnb today he asked me is there any chance that this place is going to flood tonight all right how about Booming California town asks, where will the water come from? Where will the water come from? Well, I've got plenty of water to send Greeley, Colorado from Candor, New York. We have more water than we know what to do with. If Greeley, Colorado would like to send some big trucks to Candor, New York, You know where to find us. But anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank Alert Tribes, uh, Alert uh, Lieutenant Tom Ensalada from Vermont. Tom is one of my major uh, chroniclers, you know, behind the scenes chroniclers. And he has, Tom Ensalada has come up with, uh, I honestly don't know, guys, if this is a joke. I, I literally do not know if what I am getting ready to read is a joke or not. You know, I actually got snookered by American Vandal on, uh, on Netflix a couple of weeks ago. I actually fell for American Vandal. So maybe, maybe uh, 
this, this has to be a joke. This is not coming from the Onion. This is coming from an outfit called the New Web. The New Web. And we are looking at the ultimate hopium of perhaps so far of uh, the millennia. <clears throat> I cannot make this up. I challenge anybody. I challenge myself to make it to the end of this article. The only reason I'm sitting here and doing this is because I have to kill 30 minutes waiting for my sheets to wash for the tiny house. Anyway, guys, I, I am not making this up. Would somebody please tell me, Sam, pull your head out of you know where. This is a joke. This is doomer humor, and it's going right over your head. Anyway, you decide, is this a joke or not? An optimist guide, an optimist guide to the future, how quantum AI artificial intelligence could make Earth a paradise. Starvation? Cancer? War? Spooky action at a distance could conceivably solve all these problems. And for their picture, basically what they're showing is like a cross between Satan and a space alien holding a holding up the globe with a grove of palm trees growing out of the North Pole. All right, and this is a uh, hilarious knee slapper and probably trickster Tristan Green is going to explain this to us all uh, how AI is going to make our future paradise on Earth. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe it now. But just four short years ago, articles on quantum computing were a bit of a dud when it came to catching the attention of mainstream news consumers. Oh, what a difference a few years can make. You can't open the science section on Google or Apple News nowadays without seeing a near equal split between space and quantum physics stories. The world has fallen in love with speculative science again thanks to quantum computing and artificial intelligence. And I, Tristan Green, could not, could not be happier. I believe quantum computing has the ability to impact our species in a way that nothing short of the emergence of a physical god or the arrival of an advanced alien benefactor can. And I'm not the only person who feels this way. Many experts believe exploiting quantum mechanics will revolutionize our understanding of the universe and propel our species toward an ultimate understanding of everything. Well, an ultimate understanding of everything except one thing and that we are doomed and that this is the biggest pile of horse pucky ever assembled Apparently, that is the one thing. Anyway, but what does all that hyperbole mean? Hyperbole meaning, I think hyperbole is exaggeration for a humorous effect. I am always being accused of being hyperbolic. I am quite proud of being hyperbolic. Hyperbole is one of the foundations of trying to keep a sense of humor in the end times. Okay, uh, hyperbole. Good for hyperbole. But what does all that hyperbole mean? It is easy to spit out 
optimistic platitudes, the real challenge when it comes to speculative science is predicting what this amazing quantum future will mean for the everyday person, the everyday person. This is, they are not talking just to the billionaires, okay? Everything I'm getting ready to see will be available to every human being on this planet. The everyday person. So, let's put our rose-tinted glasses on and take a look at exactly what could happen if if everything goes right and the dice land in our favor. Okay, two conditions. Everything goes right, meaning nothing goes wrong, and the dice land in our favor as opposed to the planet's favor by getting rid of us. Number one, goodbye pestilence. We have been studying diseases for thousands of years. In the modern era, we have discovered vaccinations, life-saving treatments, and cures for afflictions that have persisted for longer than recorded history. But there is plenty of work left yet. Diseases such as cancer remain uncured and horrifically prolific. Quantum computers could change that. Yes. Uh, creating a treatment or cure for something as complex as cancer is monumentally diff difficult. The sheer number of chemical combinations in the world now is enough to bog down even the most powerful supercomputers. But quantum computing can increase our ability to discover new drug and chemical interactions by factors with the potential power of a near future quantum computing system it is perfectly feasible to imagine a world where disease and illness are things of the past which of course means uh, for every human that is allowed to live one more day uh, once again uh, what is good for humans is bad for every other earthling on the planet. Number two, peace out, war. To the outsider looking in, humans might seem to love few things more than destroying one another. Well, they, do, they enjoy destroying our fellow earthlings more than they enjoy... Uh, destroying one another, but they said a few things, not the only thing. To the outsider looking in, humans might seem to love few things more than destroying one another. Quantum computing could help us out a lot in that endeavor if we are going to discover massively destructive technologies, if we're going to discover massively destructive technologies such as cold fusion or planet smashing death rays, it'll likely be through the use of quantum computers. I'm, I'm losing track of the... Man, this is sounding optimistic. What? All right! I'm joining the Optimist Guide to the... Did I read this right? Uh... Okay. If... Alright. Uh, if... If we're going to discover massively destructive technologies such as cold fusion or planet smashing death rays, it will likely be through the use of quantum computers. There you go. Yet also make war obsolete. There is hope for a far future where people with incompatible ideological differences can warp away 
from Earth and carve out their own domain on another planet far, far away. Yes. And we can always hope, and we can always hope that solving humanity's biggest problems in disease, hunger, and poverty could suddenly make us stop wanting to kill each other. But this is not a philosophy article. No. Quantum algorithms running on advanced computers could conceivably make personal deflector shields. Personal deflector shields, like a combination between a force field and a super fast drone, a real thing. It is possible we could develop passive defense technologies that render kinetic attacks useless in most personal scenarios. I love that, uh, what was that term? Passive defense technologies. Passive defense. Anyway, uh, imagine it. You are walking down the street without a care in the world when an evil mugger leaps out from a dark alley. Mm. The mugger demands your money. You say no, and pow, they shoot you. Only now, your AI intercedes by placing itself between you and the bullet. Then it proceeds to alert the authorities on its own, send footage, and handle all the questioning while you just keep on walking down the street without a care in the world. At the military scale, there could easily come a point, easily come a point at military scale where quantum algorithms end up playing out a version of the movie War Games where instead of reaching the conclusion that mutually assured destruction is inevitable, the machine comes to understand that a great defense beats a great offense. We could reach a stalemate in our ability to inflict mass destruction on each other due to the difficulty of threading a missile, uh, the difficulty of threading a missile through a quantum-based defenses and quantum communications, data teleportation, and other adjacent technologies could make cyber attacks nearly impossible as well. Okay, we're, uh, we're always talking about food insecurity down here in the Doomosphere. Well, AI has something to say to that. Screw you, famine. Screw you, famine. We live on a planet where a handful of people have more money than they could spend in a thousand years, yet more than three million children who never should have been born die of starvation every year. Quantum computers can do what billionaires, big tech, and the governments of the world refuse to, to solve the hunger problem. The same technology that would power drug discovery and cold fusion machines could potentially be used to discover nutritionally viable methods of food synthesis, otherwise growing our food in a laboratory. In essence, that would mean the intervention of machines that could produce food from ambient available resources, like a 3D printer that makes nutritionally viable food paste 
out of air and mud or the replicator from Star Trek and do not forget the big kahuna don't let the door hit you in your bony ass on the way out the door death yes this is how we are going to create immortality where every everyday human being on the planet can just live forever in paradise nobody has to die so we're just gonna keep stuffing people stuffing people stuffing people stuffing people but of course when this planet fills up you can just hop on your little AI spaceship and head to another planet far far away uh, ultimately however there should be there should be only one true goal for the optimistic technologist the optimistic technologist human immortality dun, 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 dun. solving diseases eradicating hunger and mitigating our ability to harm each other would go a long way toward increasing our collective lifespans. After all, imagine how many people smarter than Albert Einstein or Stephen Hawking died of dysentery as a child, yes, or as a civilian casualty of one of the innumerable wars our species has engaged in since the dawn of time. Who knows how much knowledge we have left on the table over the years due to sheer bad luck. Yes, but even more so than the fact that the preservation of individual lives would be a rising tide that lifts up our species, we can imagine a paradigm where quantum medical diagnostic tools give us the ability to find, isolate, and correct the flaws in our very DNA. There are those who believe aging can be slowed or even reversed based on theories involving the elasticity of certain cellular components called the Lormiers. Lormiers? While there is currently no clear path towards turning this insight into an actionable counterattack to the voraciousness of aging, it is obvious that we would need quantum computers to run the algorithms that could one day optimize our biology through rejiggering our DNA and cellular makeup in real time. It is impossible from our tiny point of view today to know what the future holds. These technologies may never come to fruition or they could end up dominating the news cycle next year. If lightning strikes the Google laboratories and a few more major Eurekas happen in the field. What is important right now is that there is hope. Hope. What is important right now is that there is hope. Yes. If a deity never emerges to show us the error of our ways, or aliens never show up to solve all of our problems for us, we have still got a potential way out of the mess we have gotten ourselves into. And besides, everyone has to believe in something right? Yep. Well, take a
a wild guess what I believe in. I believe that every word uh, of that crap was unadulterated horse pucky. And uh, is there any human being on this planet that believes one word of that? Although uh, I was just telling this story, which I might have to save for another day because I think my clothes are finished. I actually know in my own life I actually know someone who is anti-aging, who is getting younger every year. And uh, who knows? But anyway, I believe my sheets are ready to take out of the wash. So get out there and enjoy your AI while you still can, you everyday person. Bye, guys.